Coming up on today's episode... Good Friday morning to you all, YouTube. It is 9.46 now in the a.m. I am here at the bench once more. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, the uh, MFP is as finished as it's going to be, at least for now. I have no, no plans to change anything. It is uh, pretty much as it's going to be. Uh, you'll see the... Uh, new uh, addition here. I did paint it black. I think you can see that very well. And it did turn out just fine. And everything is back in in the uh, where it's supposed to be. And everything's working. Or I assume it's working. It's hooked up so I haven't tried to actually tried to meet her but I'm sure it does. Of course the MFP or not the MFP, the uh, BDST works. And we saw that the other day with the uh, Eliza radio. Uh, one note on the Eliza, and I said it was done. Uh, it is done as far as uh, basically it is working. But uh, since I made the video, uh, the last part of that video, I have taken it all apart again. And I was not happy at all with my work on that. Um, there were several things that were tacked. Those wires that didn't have any insulation on them, things like that, and I want to get that fixed. And I took it all apart, and this time I took it to where uh, everything came out with it. The uh, light bulb came out, and all that stuff. And there's nothing. All I need to do is resolder the uh, connections, the ones that uh, were a little sketchy, and it will be done. So really, there's nothing to be done for it now. While I've got it out, the uh, chassis out, I will clean up the uh, case. That would be, I think, a better way to do it than trying to do it with the uh, chassis in. So uh, that would be a, a good thing to do. And, and like I said, I'll get that all done and, and get those uh, connections made properly. Uh, something about it, I just can't can't go with stuff like that. I, I did it just to get the radio. You know, once I got the radio working and back all the wires back like I thought they should be, then you know I was I was more happy. Also, on that uh, I had did some test. I have did, I have done some testing um, on the uh, ACDC. Remember, I told you that red wire went to that switch. Well, I think it went there, but come find out, it didn't work from the battery because there was a ground wire off. Uh, and once I hooked it back up, it worked fine. So that is the proper place to put that, and so I'm happy about that as well. So um, anyway, uh, I think that's it for right now. I'm uh, not not really. I've got a couple of packages out for delivery. One of the uh, packages is the uh, diodes from California that we ordered. These are supposed to be 1N34A diodes. We will see. Uh, I told Bob I would I would take my uh, uh, close-up uh, uh, microscope, uh, digital microscope, and look at them real close and see if we can see anything there. Uh, he was strictly going on the um, forward voltage, I think, and things like that. And uh, so uh, he was pretty sure they're uh, they're uh, genuine. So we'll we'll see. But if nothing else, these will be. And if they are good, the, these will be a cheaper uh, for us because uh, the uh, 96 cent ones at NTE are, you know, for instance, cheaper, but you have to pay shipping, and these are free shipping. So uh, that <laughs> that made quite a bit of difference considering the shifting, shipping, shipping was $17 on those diodes we bought. So you know and you don't have to buy 25 at a time either so it's the same you know it it's it just it's just a better deal all around if that's the case but these other ones that we we do have a tracking number on the ones from russia now uh, i think i've, I've mentioned those and uh, so those are, are, are you know should be here hopefully sometime so we can get those examined and and find out if those work 
If they do, that will be even better because that will give us a, a, a little better um, price on those. And I, I probably, I'm going to tell Bob that I think we ought to go ahead and, if they are genuine, go ahead and order uh, 50 more and that way we'll have them. That's 25 kits. That's uh, that's not too bad. That would be that would be good good deal for the price. So, all right, that's going to do me. I just want to mainly show you this, and uh, I think uh, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm happy with it. It works. Uh, that's the main thing, obviously, uh, except for this. Uh, <laughs> I still have. You'll notice that's not been painted either, and I haven't done that for a reason because I'm going to take that meter back out and uh, probably put a new one in uh, when I get one. Uh, I want something um, basically easy to read and a basic meter. I, I don't really care about the fanciness of the, um, the meter as far as what it does and things like that. So I'm looking now to see if I can find one and uh, you know a decent one to replace that same basic size. And if I do, uh, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and buy it and then replace it with that. I, I just want something that works. Uh, something as, as uh, reliable as my fluke on the other side. You can't see it, but it's way over there on top of the signal generator. And uh, that one always works well. So uh, that's what I'm looking for on this functionality of this one here. And, uh, you know, because I just want something in there that I can get a reading on and, and have it uh, be as it should be. So. That's all I really need. Uh, again, the uh, the dark uh, background with the uh, lighting on it, that was really nice for uh, videos and things, but at the same time, unless you get right at it, you don't you can't see it as well as, as, as you think you can. So, <laughs> does that make any sense? Uh, so anyway, that's that. Um, weather today, sunny. I think a high is supposed to be close to 70, I believe, today. And we're happy about that. Um, so everything's going well uh, just like I say I'm waiting on parts I have the uh, uh, diodes out for delivery and some knobs for our VDST we we're running out of knobs uh, for the uh, volume pot and a switch and uh, I think we're down to two of those have uh, speakers on the way for another round of uh, 10 of those I ran I did the last one on the uh, package that we just sent out to uh, Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. I am I apologize for anybody that may have been offended by that. I, you know, I don't keep up, I guess. I, I did see things in the news and, and, and I kind of followed it, but it was confusing to me. Um, uh, we're just uh, simple old hicks over here in the States, you know. <laughs> we, we don't know much. And uh, so, like I said, uh, I guess it is Northern Ireland that is the only part of, uh, that has remained part of the UK, the way I understand it. Um, so, uh, I was told that, and so, uh, that's, that's why the difference there, because I, I know we had, we had uh, uh, already sent one to Ireland, and it was the UK, and that's why I said that, because I thought, well, you know, you thought Ireland was part of the UK, but... Uh, it, it's just the uh, apparently the southern part of, of Ireland that uh, withdrew from the uh, kingdom and uh, is on their own and part of the uh, European Union I guess is the way it works so anywho that's all right so uh, I'll let you guys go for now I'm, I'm gonna be doing a flap out in a car here one of these days because um, weather's getting nice I found out there's another park here in Seymour that I had never seen before. Um, so I want to go visit that and maybe do a flap over there. Because there's probably not a lot of people there and things like that. So uh, it's a smaller park. And I, I like to do one outdoors if I could. So we'll see what what bring, what bring happens with that and uh, when the time comes. And uh, so like I, like I say, I probably will put more with this uh, on my video. I just wanted to do a little flap in here to start with. So uh, we'll join you later on in the rest of the video. I'm back again. It is now 2.22 now in the p.m. on this Friday afternoon. Uh, I showed you this before already, but what I didn't show you, and you can barely see it off the side over here, is how that turned out. That looks good. I'm very pleased with that. 
and uh, that's in there and I, I don't know how well you can tell but there are some things missing over here uh, the drawer cabinet drawers drawer cabinets storage drawers whatever you want to call them they are gone I have I I don't know if I'm gonna put them back or put something else in there I'm not totally happy with the way that worked out and I may may try to put those somewhere else and because I, I originally I was going to try to get all my drawers and cabinets there but those two pretty much take up the whole space I had there so I think what I'm going to do is basically look for another piece of pegboard out in the garage I know I have another piece see if I can find one to fit in that area uh, big enough and put a piece of pegboard in there I think is what I'm going to try to do but uh, this is uh, working now works really good has plenty of volume and it works really really nice I'm happy with that the way that worked out um, so that's all I saw it's like a nine by six inch piece of uh, a quarter inch MDF board and I cut the hole out for it and made the grill on the uh, plaster or in the uh, 3d printer I found one on uh, Thingiverse or somewhere like that and they had two different versions one was that had a dome dome shaped you know front on it and I didn't really care for that I just want something you know in front of the speaker is all I cared about and uh, so that that worked out really nice and uh, happy with that took uh, a couple hours to print that but not too bad so all right that's uh that's what we're looking at so far um, again and I'm not really sure about this I, I'm gonna I'm gonna think on it some more um, but now that I've got this this side here pretty much lined up or lined out lined whatever you want to call it with how I want it I think I'm gonna work concentrate on this side for a while and uh, see what I can come up with I've got that working now that uh, that's like I want it uh, it's not exactly like I want it you can see there's a hole cut out for that uh, uh, wire well, actually the other wire the smaller wire is the TV uh, monitor uh, power I could move that if I needed to but uh, that the one the heavy one is, goes from the other strip over on the other bench side and I, it was going to be too hard. I would had to take the TV out and move all that stuff off that shelf and then try to route it around behind there. And I just thought it was easier just to cut a, a slot out there for those cords to go through. And it's not a big deal if they're there or not. You know, so like I said, I, just, I decided to go that way. So uh, one of these days I want to do the other side. And that one I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in there, if anything. But, uh, like I said, I'm, I plan on doing that eventually. Uh, but, for right now, it's it's like it is. I'm pretty very happy. I'm pretty very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way this has come, out, come together and, and worked out. Uh, I'd like to get this shelf above the uh, MFP, below the TV, cleaned off. And, you know, it's just a matter of finding things, you know, that are where I can put it. So, uh going to work on that maybe I don't know but I'm going to think about this uh, shelf here or not shelf pegboard or whatever first try to see if I can figure out a, a solution for that problem and uh, what to do what to do so all right that's going to do me for now so you guys have a good one and uh, we'll see you later i good Monday morning to you all YouTube it is 8 39 now in the AM. I started to say on this bright and sunny day, but it is actually raining out there. Surprise, surprise. Uh, as you can see, one, uh, let's see, yes. now you see it, now you don't, all that stuff <laughs> with the way this uh, device here came out. Uh, this is the uh, meter that uh, obviously was in there. Uh, there's how I had that hooked up. I don't know if anybody ever actually saw that. But basically wiring goes to the uh, uh, plus and the minus on this and uh, you know supplied to the thing and that's how that worked. Um, this, uh, this worked pretty good for a while. I, I don't know exactly what happened with it but uh, it just stopped working uh, I'll just say properly I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, so uh, I just decided to, 
you know, I, it's time to replace it. Um, I'm going to flash up some pictures of its replacement when it gets here. Well, I mean, I'll flash up the pictures now, the one I'm, I'm wanting to buy, and show you that. Uh, it is, I know I said something about not getting a fancy one, but uh, seems like this is the way all of the new meters are going anyway, and for getting the right size that I needed to fit into this space, I uh, decided to go this route. Uh, not the, uh, I don't know, it, it has a really good, uh, Bob and I, I, I did some uh, searching yesterday. Uh, Bob's usually pretty good on searching uh, for things like this. And uh, so, uh, like I said, he uh, he and I came up with, independently, independently came up with this one uh, meter that I, I uh, Kiwitz or whatever they call it. Uh, so I think it's a, a good one, and I think it should be uh, fitting that properly. I think uh, uh, the uh, d uh, what do you call it? The dimensions I had were I think 100 around 140 by 20. I can't remember exactly what it was. I'll, I'll, I'll flash them up on the screen. The uh, dimensions that uh, I I was uh, I did find for it. Um, this one here. Uh, the old one, uh, I didn't, I haven't ever liked this way of doing this. Uh, split the meter in half, and I, I don't, I don't think that's the way it work, should work. Uh, what I'm going to do on the new one, and you'll see once I get it, but right now I just explained, I'm going to put a flat piece of uh, plastic in here with a holder that will take that uh, new meter, and basically allow it to slide in here and I think maybe some snaps on the top that will allow it to snap in and be basically not permanent but you know removable if I want to take it out and do something with it that would be nice so I think that's what I'm going to do is put that and it'll be you know it's, it's a really thin I think you can see by the dimensions it was less than an inch thick and so it's not going to stick out much. And I, I even perhaps, depending on the size of it, I don't really have it yet. I can't very well make the, the um, plastic part of this and design that until I actually see and have the meter in hand to measure and things like that. But I may recess it a, a little bit into to this uh, opening here if I can. And so it doesn't stick out too much this way. But again, even, even uh, if it was right on top, it wouldn't be that bad. So I think it'll be just fine. Uh, so this new meter is supposed to be pretty much uh, cover all the bases that I want to cover. The only thing it probably doesn't cover, and I really, I really considered getting one, was the uh, the hand tech. They have the hand tech uh, uh, ones with the oscilloscope in DMM. Uh, that would uh, work too, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit too much. I've got a good scope, and I don't really need to do that, I don't think. So I've got everything covered here, um, pretty much on what I, or whatever I need here. I think is uh, that'll that'll finish off the MFP with uh, you know some good stuff. So this uh, wire here has got to be gone. Um, I don't like it. Obviously, it wasn't supposed to go there. Uh, that's just temporary. And once I get it out the back like I want it. Uh, I will put it up above so it actually has some antenna qualities to it. <laughs> so that will be done and that, none of that will be there. Eventually the uh, little uh, power strip you see there will be still there but it will be inside that and that will be closed off again with another uh, piece of that, uh, I keep wanting to call that masonite but it's actually MDF board uh, 6x9 and that will go in there to block that off and there will be no wires that I that I know of at this moment going through there so uh, so that's that uh, that's a good 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 way of doing that again I told you about the uh, the uh, pegboard I'm getting a pegboard for the other side uh, I, Lowe's has got them for a little cheaper than Home Depot but uh, time you go drive to Columbus to get it pick it up at Lowe's it's really you know, I think three dollars difference, uh, and it's also a brown one as opposed to the white one I have in on the shop in the shop now. 
So the one from Home Depot is white, and so I think I may go ahead and get that one and uh, just put it up there. Uh, I think I measured it's three, three foot, a uh, little about three foot wide, and I think two foot tall, something like that. And the new piece is going to be four by two, but I'll have to cut it down, obviously. And uh, that's uh, what I'll be doing. So I think that'll work out just fine, and that's the plan anyway. And uh, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, got a couple of options over there. Let me let me take you over there real quick. Okay, I've got a couple of options over here. That my camera's flashing too, so let me. I may I may go I go may go blank here real quick. But those uprights have those uh, braces up there. I could put the pegboard recess back into that and do it that way. I don't know if, for sure if I'm going to do that yet. We'll see. But uh, I just uh, like I said, just a couple of ways I can do it. And I, I I really don't want to do that because it puts it that much further away, and I, I don't know, it's, it's a little difficult for me to reach the one over here as it is. Uh, so I don't know why I would want to put it further, even further away, so that wouldn't make any sense. So, All right, that's going to do me. I, I just wanted to kind of bring you back and show you what's going on with this stuff. And uh, like I said, I think this is going to do my meter. My meter my uh, video for Tuesday and we're going to call that a day. I was going to put a little demo of the uh, speaker. Uh, you can see the speaker over there I think. I believe you can see it. Um, I, I got a little demo of that. I may include that. I don't know. We'll see. It was just a short one so. Alright. <laughs> Looks pretty good. You guys have a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching, and we will see ya. Yeah.